Hey guys, bringing you another key repair video today. I'm working on an HP Pavilion 15N, and I'm going to show you how to take off a large key, one of the space keys or, or, or shift keys, one of those large keys. Um, the reason why we're here doing this and not swapping out the entire keyboard is because many of you that have keyboards like this, uh, they're what's called French inset keyboards, meaning they're held on by these plastic rivets everywhere. So if I were to replace this keyboard, I would rip up this metal piece, break all these plastic rivets, and then when I get my new keyboard in there, there's no real good way to secure this down. Uh, so it's not considered an ideal repair. So that's why as much as possible, uh, I, tr I try to repair the keys versus the entire keyboard. If you're here looking for how to do a smaller key, check the video link below in the description. That'll be a video link for how to do a small key on this model computer. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me and I'll get back to you at least a couple times a day. Uh, so now I'll show you how to get at one of these larger keys. So I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to slide it underneath the keycap, which is this top part. But I'm going to try to get it on top of the retainer clips. There are two clips, one on this side, one on this side. I'm going to try to hold those down so they don't break while I peel off this clip. Uh, there's also a rubber component in, in the middle that I'm going to try not to break. And there's also uh, one or two metal stabilizer bars. So I'll, I'll show you what everything looks like once I get it up. But just keep in mind, you're going to try to feel out your way. And you're going to try to hold those clips down so it doesn't break. Okay, so there comes my, my clip. And as you can see, my flathead screwdriver is holding down these two uh, plastic clips here. I also didn't damage my rubber spring component. That's only held on by glue. So if you rip that up accidentally, it's very hard to get back down. And then in this key, you had this, pla uh, this metal stabilizer bar here. So in order to get these retainer clips up, uh, they're generally held down the same way. You generally have a two-part plastic retainer clip that, that fits into itself on the sides with little plastic pins. And it's held down to the keyboard by four metal pins near the four corners, or sometimes by three two near the corners on one end and one in the center on the other end. But ours is pretty standard, it's, it's four metal pins. The way to get this up, I'm going to try to push up with my fingernail on that clip as much as I can while I gently and slowly wedge this plastic clip out from under these metal pins. So this is a very delicate process. If you're going to break it, you'll probably break it here. So go very slow and I'll show you what I'm going to try to do here. So I'm going to push up. Okay, so let me put that down on the keyboard for you, slide that over so you can see it. So if you can see this here, there's a plastic pin here on this corner and a plastic pin here on this corner. Those fit underneath the metal pins here. They're very tiny, very breakable, and if you don't wedge them out from under the metal and you just push up too much, they'll snap right off. And then this won't fit in there securely which means when your keycap snaps onto it, this won't be secure and it'll wiggle and, it, and it'll fall off. So that's probably the hardest thing to do there. Um, if this component comes undone from itself and it comes apart into two pieces, don't freak out. You can get them back. Uh, there's a, just like these small uh, plastic pins, there are two small ones on the inner clip that fit into the outer. So again, don't break those. Uh, but as long as those aren't broken, you can get this back together. And again, you can always reference the other one here um, if you need to see how to get it back together. So in order to put this on now, I'm going to take this pin. I'm going to set it down bottom first. We took the top off first, so I set it down bottom first. Get the bottom metal pins. Get the plastic underneath the bottom metal pins where they should go. Make sure the overall clip is centered. And then just press in the corners and they should just snap in as long as you didn't break it. So that's how you would snap that into place. Now as far as this metal stabilizer bar, it snaps in uh, to one, two, to three snaps on the bottom. But if you notice, it's, it's, it's not a hard snap. It doesn't snap firmly into any one place. It kind of slides around uh, left and right, up and down. So it's a little tricky to get that just centered. But you're going to take that, make sure it's snapped into the key, slide it back into these two metal holes on either side, and then lay it down somewhat centered. And once you get it centered enough, you can press it down and it snaps into place as well. Just like that. 
So that may take you a few times to get everything lined up and centered just correctly and, and pressed down. I have a pretty good feel for it because I've been doing this for a while. But if that takes a, a few tries, don't worry. Just if, if it snaps into place weird and it's not working right, just snap it back up, line everything up and, and try it again. But that's how you would do a, a larger key. So that's how you would repair this key on an HP Pavilion 15N. Again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. And please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thank you so much for watching, guys.